Okay, now that we have the only English presentations, we will start the recording. And um, Margarita, yeah. uh, could I ask you to deliver the next uh, presentation? Do yeah. you have anything to share? Uh, no, no, it's good. Yeah. Um, just make sure to speak up enough to, for people to, to hear you. Okay, I'll speak up. Uh, yes, thanks. It's a loud one. Uh, we are uh, Comparing with Lithuania or some other uh, sections, IDFM sections, we can consider ourselves a modest section in terms of uh, financing. You know, the only finance that we have got from IGFM is the only 5,000 euros from Katrin Borhuber and all the other activities that we uh, do there. We try to do it either in voluntary basis or with the help of some other organizations. But our philosophy is that there are lots of activities that can be done even without financial support. And uh, I'll be focused on my presentation in the activities that we are uh, doing in the last year. First of all, we have been involved in a project in the uh, north of Albania, which is the Catholic area of Austria. And uh, the project is about the black food. You may have heard about black food. It's some kind of custom that comes from the old Asians in Albania. And mostly you can face this in the south part of Italy or in the north part of Albania. And uh, our project has been mostly focused on the reconciliation of the families that are in a blood field. It's a very, very long process, difficult process, and sometimes dangerous process, but somebody has to touch upon this. And uh, with the help of uh, Mrs. Katrin Bormuller, we have been able to reconcile five families up to now. And uh, as I said, it's a very difficult and dangerous process, but if you achieve the results, it means that you have achieved the result for some generation. Because in this blood field section, there are uh, involved sometimes three generations, because there are involved the grandparents, the parents and the children. And the most important is that if you are successful when you're reconciling those families that are in a revenge or in the, in the cycle of revenge, then you have built another new citizens, which means that they are out of the circle of revenge. We'll continue with this, either or not IGFM is supporting us, we'll continue with this. We had a very successful uh, meeting with a German ambassador in Albania when Mrs. Katrin Bormuller was there for visit with, Mrs. Ka with uh, Mr. Khalid. And uh, uh, a German uh, ambassador was very excited and very proud for the work that we do. And he said that they will support us. If IGFM will give some money for the project, he said that we'll double this amount of money because what you are doing is very important, he said. We are very well aware about what is happening with blood fuel in the North. And we are so proud that it's a German organization to touch in such difficult and very important issue. So I will consider this meeting very successful and I am in touch with a German ambassador and very soon I'll, I'll uh, present a project to them, uh, which I have finished writing and we'll continue with this. Uh, this is uh, uh, the project that we are running with uh, money provided from uh, Mrs. Bormuller, and we're waiting for the second phase to start the project because we finished already the funds for this project because it, it takes a lot of time to go there on the north, negotiate, and sometimes uh, they take it very personally. And me personally, I have been threatened about this as well from the other families which are in the blood field revenge because they think that our reconciliation might be in a personal basis, but we say this is only in the basis for stopping this old custom, uh, a dangerous custom that comes from Asian times. Regarding the other projects that we are uh, involved with, but without any financial support, 
First of all, we are uh, now the member of the Alliance of Anti-Corruption in Albania. So now IGFM is part of this Anti-Corruption Alliance in Albania. And we are having our strong voice in this alliance to stop the corruption in Albania. And we don't have any funds about this, so we are going to voluntarily basis. And basically, we are lobbying there for changing the laws according to European frame of laws uh, to provide better laws or to push the parliament, Albanian parliament, to approve laws that uh, uh, tackle uh, right to the point of corruption. Not just some laws that pretend to attack corruption, but laws that in the ground really attack the corruption. So, uh, thanks to the fact that uh, we have members in our uh, section that have a legal background, it's not me, I'm not talking about myself, but other members, and we are uh, uh, having been heard seriously now from the government uh, to. Uh, take responsibilities that when they approve laws in the parliament, they should have to discuss with civil society. Another, another uh, involvement of uh, IGFM Albania is, the, and I'm proud for members of IGFM Albania, I have to say it because I am the only voice for them today, is the fact that we are now the member of the Alliance Pro Family. It's a big movement now in Albania. It's an alliance for a family. And uh, the whole idea of this uh, um, alliance for uh, family is the fact that uh, we were under the pressure to prove some laws and change some strategies in schools that uh, uh, parents don't have any more rights uh, to, to tell or to ask or to call their children either boy or girl, because it's not right, according to these groups, that by calling them girls and boys, they are uh, imposing them to think that they are boys or girls. We found this to be very ridiculous and against the human rights and against the natural gender that God gives us. So we became part of this and we stopped uh, uh, approving this law from Albania government. Uh, I'm not saying that it, it was only IGFM, but I'm saying that we played a considerable part on stopping approving this law. Now the parliament didn't even have to discuss this law anymore because it was a big movement in Albania from civil society and IGFM was involved in this. Uh, so, uh, so far, our philosophy has been that uh, you can do a lot of things, even with little resources. The most important is that you should have the clear strategy and the clear focus and why you are and for what you stand for. And this is the most important thing. Uh, in the future, one of the areas that we want very much according to the feasibility study that, uh, done from USAID and done from World Bank in Albania. One of the needs that uh, it, it is finding out is that there is a need for legal education and human rights education amongst the young generation. So one of the priority that we'll have in this year and in the next year uh, besides the fact of the blood fuel continuing the blood fuel project, will be the human rights education of the uh, uh, young uh, people and especially the children, because to build a new uh, citizen, uh, you need to start from the young ages. So we want to uh, uh, create uh, foundation for educating people with human rights because it's a, a big problem in Albania. We come from the dictatorship, the worst dictatorship in Europe, and people always uh, uh, have been get used to be taught what they have to do instead of ask for their rights. So, will be one of the areas where 
we try to focus this type of black fuel project that we are doing. So I'm sorry that we are modest comparing with the others in terms of funding, but we are not modest in terms of ideas and we'll continue to, to, to do our job and try our best. We are not the best, but we are try our best. And uh, so one thing that I want to underline at the end, and then I will stop talking because I'm talking too much, uh, is the fact that we have been able that in a couple of years to revitalize the IGFM. Yeah. IGFM has been almost unknown in Albania in terms of having a reputation of being uh, well known with a third parts. And one of my ideas, but also of my colleagues, is that uh, to increase the reputation in a good terms of IGFM Albania, making more active and making known to other donors and other actors in the field. Because there are other organizations, very good ones, and we're open-minded to learn from them in Albania. And why not uh, sometimes achieve a bigger goal? So thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Margarita. And um, two comments. Um, first of all, when you deal with anti-corruption, make sure to make the link with Mumuni, who is uh, an expert and okay. uh, practitioner uh, working in the body. Thank you, Sis. Anti-corruption agency in Mali. And, uh, I think that's a strategic contact. But then, if uh, Margarita, um, I don't know if everyone is uh, familiar with the practice of blood food um, in Albania in the Balkans region. Maybe you can sketch in three sentences yeah. what's it about. Okay. Uh, blood food is it comes from the customary law and is a kind of uh, uh, kanun or the code, if I can say it in a modern terminology is a code that have ruled the life of uh, communities in the north of Albania from ancient times. During the ancient time, there were no state, especially in the mountain areas, you know, so people have to rule their life. And so they came together and they uh, 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 wrote down the Kanun. Kanun is the name for this uh, uh, blood field, but uh, there were certain moral rules in this canon, but the way how people now are implying and uh, uh, acting based upon canon is not the real canon. Uh, based on the real canon, which was law in ancient times, you have not to touch uh, women and children. Now, for the revenge, people are using, is the same with using Islam, you know? Uh, radicals, Islamist radicals, use Islam not as the Islam is supposed to be, but they use it in a radical terms and they misinterpret it. It's the same now with the revenge in the North Albania. They are touching now children, they are touching women, and also they are getting revenge for things that are not or have not been part of the canon. So we have to stop this. And uh, we have, and the most important is to make children to think that Kanu is not going to give them future. This is the important thing. So by tackling and reconciliation of the families, we want to go a little bit further. We want to go to the mentality of children. Because you know, you know for the famous case in Sweden, that Sweden court decided that what a family was providing in court was not true. They decided to send back the family in Albania and right in our port, the other family killed them. At the moment that departure in Albania airport, international airport, the other family killed them. So this was an awaiting, it was a lie for uh, Sweden to understand now what is the last few. This is something real, even that West Europeans don't believe this, but this is something real. And we have to stop this. I know it's very difficult and challenging area, but something, something or somebody has to do it. Okay. okay. Yeah. 
Thank you, many thanks, Margarita. Okay, um, thanks so. In order to keep uh, be mindful of the time, we need to move on. But thank you for your important work in this field. Uh, we feel how passionate you are about what you do because it's important. Um,